Hi guys, welcome sa SIP9. In this video, ay ituloy natin yung series natin on uh, logarithms, no? So, kung napanood yung ating uh, mga previous videos, natapos na natin yung logarithm of a product sa logarithm of a quotient. So, dito pag-aaralan natin yung uh, logarithm of a power. Eh, ibig sabihin lang ng logarithm of a power, pag meron tayong uh, logarithm ng isang number na nirace natin sa isang power, that is equal to the the uh, power times the logarithm of that number. No? So, ito yung pinaka-equation niya. Now, bakit ganito? No? I-derive natin to. Now, suppose uh, we let um, the logarithm of m raised to n be equal oh, to the base a, be equal to x, and logarithm of m no? to the base a be equal to y. Now, pag uh, kinonvert natin yan into exponential form, so, di ba ito yung base natin, tapos ito yung exponent. So, magiging a raised to x be equal to m raised to n. By the way, kung hindi nyo ito sinusundan, di ba, yung, uh, yung pag meron tayong logarithm of p, no? of uh, a number, for example, x equals to m, that is equal to x in exponential form, magiging ito yung base natin raised to this exponent equals to n. So, dito nang galing yan, no? So, ito yung base natin, ito yung exponent, tapos ito yung pinaka-equivalent uh, niya, no? So, a to the x equals m raised to n, and ito rin, uh, base exponent, tapos equal to m. So, this is a raised to the y equals m then. Okay, so a to the x, a to the x equals m to the n from this one. And yung m natin, di ba, ang m natin ay equal siya sa a to the y. No? So yung m dito pwede kong palitan ng a. So this is equal to, again siguro natin ang kulay no, para makita nyo. So yung m is actually equal to a to the y. So, kaya yung, yung m dito, yung m dito, pwede ko siyang palitan na a to the y raised to n. Okay? Bali, ito yung m na yun. Yan. Okay? Pareba yung kulay. Hindi. Anyway, at least kita nyo na yung m na yun ay nirace natin sa n. And kung naalala nyo sa loss of exponent, pag meron tayong exponent, tapos nirace natin to another exponent, ay minumultiply natin yung exponents na yun. So, n, y ito. Okay? So, equal yan. Equal, 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 equal. Diba? Which means that itong a raised to x ay equal siya dito. Yeah, Pare-pareho sila ng uh, pare-pareho yung expression na yan. Meaning, a to the x is equal to a raised to the n y. Pareho yung base, tapos equal, which means yung exponents nila ay equal. So this, this means that x is equal to n y. Pero ano ba yung x natin? Tignan natin sa taas. Saan ba nanggaling yung x na yan? Ito yan, di ba? This is your this is our x, no? Logarithm of m to the n to the base a. So, ang x natin ay logarithm of m raised to n to the base a. Tapos, we have n. Ano yung y natin? y is logarithm. Ito yun. Tukta naman siya. Logarithm of m to the base a. Logarithm of m to the base A. So, di ba ito yung nandito sa taas? Ito yung uh, pinakaunang equation natin. Ito actually yan. Napakita na natin that logarithm of uh, of uh, A, oh, of M to the N to the base A is equal to N logarithm of M to the base A. Okay? So, some examples. No? Halimbawa, we want to write the uh, logarithm of 1000 to the base 5 in another in another form pwede natin siyang 
gawing m to the n, di ba? So, yung ito, pwede natin siyang gawing exponential. So, maging logarithm of 5. O, logarithm of 10 cubed to the base 5. At ito yung exponent niya, di ba? Yung 3. Pwede rin natin siya isulat as 3, no? Ito yung n niya. Logarithm of 10 cubed. No? O, pwede rin na logarithm of 3. Logarithm of. So, hindi na pala siya 10 cubed. Kasi nandito na yung 3, no? So, pwede na siyang 3 logarithm of 10 to the face, to the base 5. Sample 2, we have, how do we write 2 log, sorry, 2 log of y. So, nandito yung n natin, di ba pwede natin gawing exponent ng y, di ba? So, yung n, pwede mo siyang ilagay dito. Which means na yung 2, pwede mo siyang ilagay dito. As exponent. So, another way of writing this is log of y squared. Again, pag walang base, usually, usually uh, 10 yan, no? Consider natin siya na 10. And pag uh, natuto na kayo, uh, usually pag base 10, hindi na natin siya sinusulat. No? Pag uh, later makikita nyo pag sa mga exercises. Okay, last example, we have uh, how do you write 5 logarithm of y to the 4th to the base 7. So again, pwede mo rin siya ilagay dito gabi mong exponent. This becomes logarithm of y to the 4th raised to the 5th power to the base 7. So pwede natin simplify ito. Yung y to the 4th raised to the 5th. Diba? A to the m raised to n is a raised to m. n. Minumultiply natin, di ba? So, pwede natin siyang isulat as logarithm of y raised to the 20 to the base 7. Okay? Yan lang muna sa ngayon. Uh, at least, alam niyo kung paano yung alternative forms pag may power. Siguro, we'll have uh, one more exercise. Tapos, kukumbine na natin yung logarithm of uh, power, logarithm of quotient, and ito, logarithm of product. So, tatlo na sila. And then after that, i-discuss na rin ta natin yung ibang properties pa ng logarithm. Okay, maraming salamat. Sana ay may natutunan kayo dito sa ating uh, tutorial. I'll see you in the next video. Sana ay uh, mag-subscribe kayo no? kasi madami pa tayong pag-aaralan. Invite ko rin kayong bisitahin yung ating uh, website, ang sip9.com. See you in the next video.